All right, here is Ubuntu. It is another Linux uh, distro, and this is probably the most popular one that's out right now. Uh, everybody seems to be in love with uh, Ubuntu. And uh, basically, if you look at it, up here at the top here, it's kind of like your start window uh, if you're on um, XP or Windows and whatnot. And uh, there's a system and places. And there's a shortcut to uh, Firefox, so let's see uh, how that looks. And uh, this was a uh, this is a, a bigger distro. This fits onto a CD. And what I'm doing right now is actually using the, what they call a live uh, CD version of it right now. And uh, well, let's type in herbertmidgley.com. Let's see how that looks. And uh, there it is. And uh, I wonder. <coughs> looks like it's still missing some um, actually we'll play anything on there yeah I need to install the flash player uh, just like which wouldn't be a problem to do um, just like the previous one uh, on the live CD uh, I guess it doesn't have that but the web experience is pretty zippy and we'll go to a couple of sites There's dig. Uh, okay, so that seems to work. And it's like on XP, you hit the X to get out on there. Um, well, let's see what uh, software comes with this. And there's uh, Office always seems to be a big one now. I remember how word processors, uh, you know, used to be the, the big deal now. And now, uh, you know, you basically do most of your word processing on text messages and emails, and you're not even email so much anymore. But this is Open Office, and you probably heard of Open Office. It's basically um, an Office, a Microsoft Office clone that is uh, open source, and basically they will open and will save files that will work in uh, Microsoft Word or um, Excel and so forth. So if you look at it, you know it looks just like a word processor. And you can do everything with it and copy it and paste. And so forth. Um, it's got tools, got spell check, word, word count. I mean, to, you know, if you look at it, it looks exactly like um, something that you would spend a couple hundred dollars for, and it's uh, open source and it's free. So, uh, and basically, the save functions on it. Uh, let's see. Let's see what type of it got here. Yeah, a bunch of. What I would recommend is either a doc. Um, RTF or text or HTML, it, those open on uh, on everyone, and even got the new one, the DOCX, which I uh, surprisingly just don't like. I wish they had it had it with this the DOC, so I don't have to worry about converting it and whatnot. So um, you can save it um, and hit it again, hit the X to get out. It's going to discard all that work, and let's do the office again, and uh, let's look at the spreadsheet. And see how that looks. Let's type in some numbers. And uh, if you haven't, here's something you can learn on a spreadsheet. If you haven't done this before, you can highlight it, hit this big E, and it sums it all up for you. And that's what a lot of people do: just add things up. So, a spreadsheet seems to work, and uh, you have the same type of options to save as on there. Uh, do, 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 do. That's for fun. I'm, I'm kind of curious how the PowerPoint looks like. And uh, I don't know. If, you know that's just a great one. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it's just like PowerPoint. Hello! And then. So, four like that. So, you. Putting pictures in there, it looks exactly like a uh, PowerPoint. And uh, anyway, so that that works great. All right, so if you mainly use uh, word processing and surfing the internet, and uh, this is golden, it works decently on older machines. I say a Pentium three, a Pentium four and up for sure will work great. Probably a Pentium three will work fine. And they probably got they even got some versions that will work on uh, netbooks as well, and they got some games there. Um, Blackjack. Oh, it's getting some strategy. And if this was actually working on, uh, if I installed it, I'm sure it'd be more zippy on a computer than what it is. Uh, let's, let's 
see. Oh, I don't even, okay. Ah, lose. All right. I don't even know what happened. Something happened. All right, whatever. So, uh, they got chess, uh, robots. Hey, I like robots. Oh, let's. You click on a robot or something. Okay. Yeah, it looks like you have hours of fun with that game. And um, let's see what else. I got graphics on here. I got drawing. I like to draw. Oh, it's part of our open office. Okay. cool and we got scanning software internet uh, they got some chat uh, I am clients uh, of course Firefox and again I recommend y'all using Firefox if you haven't done that before uh, remote desktop viewer hmm, sounds interesting I guess you can connect to another machine that's really cool um, Terminator, they got a uh, um, torrent client and Bluetooth one. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, sound, they got a disc burner, movie player, and a sound recorder. Okay. Hmm. Well, anyways, that's the software that comes on here, and uh, there's a terminal there. There's a um, Stuff for, for uh, managing printers and so forth. You come over to uh, the system, the preferences, basically there's like a light control panel ish type stuff going on. And can, if, you're, if you're obviously if your your network's not working, you try to find something that doesn't network in, or your printer doesn't work, you try to find something with printer, you can't find your mouse, you find something with USB or something like that. It's usually not too hard to figure out. So uh, I can see why people like it. It's, it's a modern OS without a doubt. And if you are or looking to try something out, even if you're, again, you can just download the distro, if you type in Ubuntu into Google, you'll find where you can download it, and you can burn it to a, you burn it, get the ISO, you burn it down to a CD, and then you can, you can uh, boot it to your computer, and, and use that live CD technique of it, and then just try it out, and if you like it, you can install it on a, another hard drive, or if you know how to partition and drive, you can do that as well, or if you've got a computer that's completely hosed up, and you, you can't get the data from, uh, you may want to have this as a replacement and try it out because basically for most people, if you can use the internet and if you can make uh, uh, do word processing and get your email, which you, basically if you got a web browser, that's all you really need and you know, you're, you're happy. There's a lot of other software that you can get um, as well uh, for, for these basically programs and they got uh, specific ones and uh, that's probably another video, how do you actually go install other software uh, onto it. But but you can find the, the, the Linux distros pretty easily. And then once you get your Ubuntu install, you can find software specifically set up for Ubuntu on there. So I say check it out and uh, try it out. And as always, uh, rock and roll.